on to our next duo. We have Rear Gamer and the Slayer 360. Rear, an actress and former beauty queen, best known as her role on Lisa Miller in the hit TV series Awkward. She held the title of Miss Teen Malibu for two consecutive years. That's the back to back. And she was Miss Regional California Teen in 2011. She also says she will never not play as Peach in Mario Party or Toad in Mario Party. The Slayer 360, a YouTube from Mexico who says that he cannot say the letter R correctly, but I bet he can roll it. Yeah, I bet you he can. I definitely can't. So we have something in opposite, I guess. In the of course, Zorman and Jared Abramson are joining us on the floor. There they are. Ooh. I mean, that's an awesome hair flip right there. Come on, Zorman, do it again. Just about to say, Zorman, all about the hair flip there. A famous Spanish YouTuber and magician. He studied programming and computer science. Jared Abramson is the Canadian actor known for his role in American Animals, Hell Destroyer, and Travelers. But I think the more interesting the facts, he's a trained mixed martial artist and Muay Thai kickboxer. Has a record of 110 and 200 in each. But his MMA name, Ready Ball, and get this, Wolf Boy. What? Really? Wolf Boy. That's, good. That's Great. terrifying. Like, I want, don't want to run into anybody like that. Now, our next duo, Robles and Chigua. Robles, a well-known Argentinian YouTuber who lives in Olvaria, a province of Buenos Aires. Fun fact, he likes arugula and struggles to not eat it with every meal. And his partner there is Chigua, an Argentinian Fortnite player who used to play a lot on console, but now that he's wanted to up his game, he's gotten a keyboard and mouse, and he's seen a lot of success in rapid growth. That's awesome. A lot of players are doing the same thing, making the switch to controller to PC, so maybe some people will become fans of him. Next duo is David Williams and Wildcat. David Williams being the professional poker player and popular Magic the Gathering player. He also competed on tons of awesome shows, such as season seven of the popular Fox Cookie show, MasterChef. And uh, honestly, if you want to cook for me, let me know. He's looking to try and open up a restaurant. I'll come through. And then Wildcat has been around the scene forever. He's been playing games forever. You can check him out. We have a soundbite from both of these guys. Let's listen in to what these two competitors had to say. All right, guys, what message do you have for your opponents? Marksman and JT Brown need to stay on the far side of the map. Avoid us if they want to have a chance to do well. The other teams are in trouble. Uh, most of the celebrities usually are pretty bad. I've seen a lot of these pro ams. Unfortunately for them, I might have more hours playing Fortnite than most of the pros. I mean, I play all the time, but they're lucky. I get handicapped. Uh, I usually play on an iPad. They have to play on a, a controller, Xbox controller. But luckily, I bought my Xbox with me. Been in the hotel grinding. He's been exploring New York City. He doesn't need to practice, but uh, I'm ready. All right, good luck, guys. Wow, wise words from them there. And also, throwing out their buddies a little bit, saying, hey, JT and Markson, don't come anywhere near us, but our next duo, we have Michael Grayer and Myth. Myth being one of the original builders in the community, all about it, getting a little bit in there, all about the dance moves. Myth was the one who pioneered a lot of the initiative to encourage people to come positivity in the community. Very popular here. And then Michael Dreyer is the American actor best known for his role on Mr. Robot, Deception, and Sneaky Pete. In 2018, he ran the Honolulu Marathon, and he'll be running the New York City Marathon in 2019. Next up, we have Max Wax Motif. Apologize for that. And Musil, the Australian players. The first one, Wax Motif, the Australian DJ and music producer. He, it has influences from R&B to disco to UK bass, so all over the place, really. Yes, it is. The American YouTuber who's actually based in Sydney, in South Wales. He likes to keep his content humorous. I always think of him as the player who tries to knock the off of the the shopping cart in the first pro -in. He was not successful, just to let you know. But on to our next duo, Alexander is the Japanese Peruvian actor and model who has so many names that are amazing, but the last of which is Diablo. And then you have Vodka, the Japanese YouTube personality, whose skill level, he says, is as good as some of the best pros around the world. He says sometimes he has a bad mouth, but a gentle heart. It's okay, we'll help you fix up that filter here with a family-friendly audience. But they look excited to be here. And look at those sheets on Alexander. Yeah, those are stylish. What is it to see inside the continue forward with the Japanese players? It's Ellie and Nekukun. Ellie who joined us at the last row. Japanese dancer and performer for Jap Japan's number one boy band, and Diamond J Soul Brothers. Yes, and he also has a solo rap. Crazy on 
them today. And then Nekukon is his partner, the Japanese Fortnite streamer, who is pumped to be here, excited to take it on. Let's hear what Ellie had to say before the competition. All right, Ellie, do you have any message for your opponents today? Okay. Uh, I'm from Tokyo. Watch out for Crazy Boy. Sayonara. Bang. Like we said, it got to watch out for the crazy boy. He's on a mission, wants to make it happen. Now our next pair is Claire Grant and Jacob. Claire Grant is the American actress, model, and producer who co-founded Team Unicorn, which has made a web series and music video parodies, including Geek and Gamer Girls and All About That Bass. Fun fact, she says her burps have been known to rattle windows. Hey, we got that in common. And then Jacob is a YouTube personality all the way from Poland here to play some Fortnite tear up the stage and he says he wants to win some money for charity but he's also just looking to have a good time and that he will have for sure i'm absolutely amazed by that we're going to continue forward it's business boy and frizz frizz another polish streamer who you know he enjoys fortnite he and his look at that pink hair it's awesome his girlfriend has some as well so awesome duo there we'll see if this duo though of business boy and frizz can do anything on the stage business boy the music producer has worked with artists like Lil Nas X, Party Next Door. He's extremely athletic, as you can tell. We'll see if he can do anything with that athleticism on the stage. Yes, he has been called the basketball, basketball great before. And now, just after them, we have Symphony and Vinny Pergola. Vinny Pergola being one half of the Phantoms duo who's competing today. He was also an actor turned DJs. You might recognize him from shows like Battle Raven, The Bernie Mac Show, and The Miss Symphony is looking fantastic today. Definitely showered, got the gel in his hair. All about the streams, the content, and the fast edit. Officially known as the best editor in the West. He pioneered some of those quick resets and go making people look foolish. Still did it through the entire time in the summer skirmish. And continued through Kyle Catlin from the Phantoms as well. And you heard Sundown say his brother was a teen actor. He was also a teen actor. He played on shows just like the Bernie Mac show, which we already talked about, and 10 Things I Hate About You. And they became the duo that you know them about. It's the Phantoms. Moving forward as well, his duo partner, Kay. We just saw him perform in the Creative World Cup. And he's a British YouTuber, Twitch streamer, org owner, all this sorts of stuff. Is also known for the meme, you know it. That's insane, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. But now our next duo, all the way from down under, trying to prove they're here for you. It will not be easy, but they're hoping that one day they will find peace on the Battle Royale Island. Alice in Wonderland is the Australian electronic music music producer. She has been best known for well her most recently her single piece, her album run and so many amazing things. She sings, plays the cello, and is also just a genuine human being. Likes to stress that it's all about positive health and being there for the other person. Loser Fruit, a very popular Australian streamer, part of the Click House, which is multiple of Australian content creators. Which was the she was the first Australian Twitch streamer to hit one million followers. In fun fact, she can do a perfect part of That's amazing for Loser Fruit there. On the floor still, they're going to grace us with their presence. It's Desmond Chia and Mr. Fresh Asian. We have a lot to say about Mr. Fresh Asian because he's somebody that's a fresh Asian. He's really plays highly in some of them, too. Yes, he was screaming it the entire time. Got a chance to talk with Desmond last night. The actor, writer, known for the Shannara Chronicles, Magic Camp, and NCIS Los Angeles. He also break dances under the alias B-Boy Desmond. In the day, he used to min-max on EverQuest. We talked about min-maxing earlier in this. Let's introduce your new And I am YouTube sensation Chris Danker, a.k.a. Chris Danker.
crowned himself king before the competition, and now he just hops on the line, grabs a microphone, and declares themselves the champ with belts and also the disparity between those belts is moderately hilarious. It is hilarious, and the next time the music is yeah, I was just about to say that definitely we need the music because if Xavier's gonna be up there, like I can you don't even see anything happening, but he had ooh, that was a lot going on. But enough of the interruption, we need to get into the last fifth of the players is Liam McIntyre and Lachlan. Lachlan, of course, being the Australian gamer, knows the bossing Fortnite and Minecraft related content on his self-titled channel, which has earned more than 12 million subscribers, has been around the scene from the beginning, played in the creative before this, then Liam McIntyre, the Australian actor, best known for playing the lead in two of the Sparty he has also appeared in Legend of Hercules, The Flash, Here's the War for and roles amongst many other roles. And fun fact, he's never been to Coca-Cola, but he's like, not messing a whole lot of it. It's Python Ben, Joga, and Detonator out of Brazil. Python Tam Ben Joga is the Brazilian YouTuber. He so he actually only played Battle Royale, and he, uh, he won his very first match. But, Wait, what is that beard? Is amazing. The, the, uh, you're looking at the beard. I'm looking what at the outfit? Brazilian national team, like almost finally, where Detonator having none of it. They are. I just, uh, you know what? I just want to hear what Detonator has to say because that is incredible. Everything about that is amazing. And please tell us more. All right, Detonator. What is some trash talk you have for your opponents? If you want my opponent, you'll be eliminated. Don't cross me. Don't do this. Because you'll be eliminated by the power of the heavy metal from Detonator. Looking to eliminate everyone in his path. That was the complete opposite direction. I thought we were going with that. So let's get on to the next pair. Another Brazilian representative is Edukov in the Flakes Power. Edukov, a 28-year-old Brazilian YouTuber, recently moved to the U.S. to improve his English and currently lives in Florida on top of his hyper-successful daily vlog showing his day-to-day -day activity. He streams games like Fortnite and Minecraft and has Flakes Power. Finally, he has also came from Brazil, has played in a number of big competitions, has been around and he knows his way. and Kalango. Kalango, the Brazilian YouTuber, so we're continuing on the Brazilian... A great thing with his organization as well, bringing athletes into the world of competitive gaming. They are a pair to look out for because Marksman has competed on basically every level of the game and he knows how to pull up some tricky plays. 
Speaking of tricky plays, another duo that both at the prime and the competitive scene is Mackenzie Ford and Beer itself. Yes, Mackenzie Boyd is the American songwriter originally from Lafayette, Louisiana. He competed in the last creative showdown on the Chicken Champions, had amazing plays, also known for his songs. Roses and Little Half Moon competed on American Idol. Fear itself, the former retired professional Halo player, somebody I grew up watching and seeing like, wow, competing on that main stage, has played on teams like Final Boss. He named himself after Franklin Delano Roosevelt's speech because he thought it sounded cool. Now on to our next duo. The American singer, dancer, actor, and television personality, best known as the member of the classic boy band and sync. 2007, he came in second place in the ABC reality show Dancing with the Stars. Joey says he loves VR games and plays them with people all over the world at 3 a.m., but let me tell you here, this ain't a VR game, and it ain't 3 a.m. No, but he has great footwork and expert deep, the YouTube gamer and rapper who does gaming commentaries. His adopted name is Kevin, while his birth name is Dante, with the latter being his stage name. He's been creating content for 13 years, doing vlogs, skits, and more. And we had an opportunity to catch up with him and hear what he had to say before they took the stage. All right, Expert Thief, do you have a message for your opponents today? All I'm going to say is watch your back because I'm going to be right behind you, and I know how you build, and I know how you play. I've been studying, okay? And I'm really sneaky. That's all I'm going to say. Right? So this is especially the UT food. What I find funny about that is as he's calling out Tfue, I don't know if you saw it, Tfue was right over his shoulder and he started nodding when he said, that's for you Tfue, he's like, like, yeah, come get some, let's go. But onto one of our last duo pairings, we have Edwin Hodge and I Rap. Rap is the German YouTuber, he's been around the scene for a long time, makes a ton of content, and Edward Hodge, the actor, best known as playing Dante Bishop in the Purge film series, breaking the dance moves out right there, and is the only actor to appear in all of the first three films, and he says he is addicted to golfing. So we'll see what they have to do, and whether those golf skills translate, or the Craps can carry through with his experience on YouTube and creating content and all sorts of creative stuff as well. And I mean, he has been around since quite literally the very beginning. We're talking season one, season two, making content over in Germany. He has been all about it, impressing forward. And I mean, this group, this entire pairings, all of them are so fun to be around in their own way. And when they all will interact on the island, it's going to be ridiculous. I mean, we've seen some of the starting island shenanigans that happened before, and I'm just pumped for when we get out there and to see how some of these players interact with us. You can already tell, there's some bad blood out there. There's some people calling each other out. You got Marksman and Wildcat right away. Edwin Hodge calling out Tifu. Like they're saying, no, we're coming for it. I've also seen a number of these pairs. Hey, One Shot Girl and Chandler, they were in the practice room. Every single opportunity they got, they were down there playing duos. They're doing everything they can. Call outs were there. And I mean, you know, they're going to bring his all as well. Nick A30 played and competed with him in the creative showdown. I mean, he's pumped to be here. Yeah, he's pumped to be there. We also have all the players the last month, the summer block party, Aiden, his partner, uh, a lot of other people as well. Tons of folks, tons of celebrities. You're going to have a blast watching this. I can't wait to get in the action. One thing you think of just like some of the DJs were out there. Lost Kings, Phantoms, Alice in Wonderland, Wax Motif, just like all of these episodes. Some of them I'm a little more familiar with and listen to, but I just am so excited. And plus all the actors, you got basketball players, and I don't want to say more importantly, but all of the Fortnite players as well. It's so incredible. And oh my, what is, what is that? Oh, that, okay, so that, is your reigning Pro-Am champion, Pro-Am number one, Marshmallow, and Ninja, and then Airwalk, and all the other side, the other side, the winners from the summer block party, and I mean, they, they, they are all in the winner circle, Zeke there too, Let's see what they have for us, of course, everybody ready to get the Pro-Am started. They're ready to get it started, but not Marquee pairs and just listen to the crowd. They're excited to be 
they're, they're ready to play. These are people who are at the top of their game. They're all going to qualify for the World Cup. Our all time is out there. Ninja and Marshall, the original pop-off pair. But they're able to take the first throw in. What do you got for us over on the stage with our reigning champions? Gentlemen, we couldn't do this without our reigning program champions. The summer block party pro am champion. Gentlemen, any words to your Your 2018 <laughs> Pro Am champions, Ninja and Marshmallow, the duo is back together. Ninja, I'll come to you. Smell, I know you don't like to talk, but any words for uh, you know, we just want to say good luck to you guys as well for participating, and uh, you know, I hope we end up being in the finals in one of the last games. There you have it. Gentlemen, if you'll take the stage, the Pro-Am is about to begin.
got some formidable threats out there as well. You know, I'm paying all the crowd. <laughs> So we're gonna jump into the battle and see if that duo can carry all the way through. That's right. The money that they're gonna be playing for here today is the charity team that in mind. So let's take a look here. First place is gonna get a million dollars toward the charity of their choice. Second through, through 50, everyone's gonna get Okay, and no one's gonna walk away empty-handed. It's not gonna be grand for second place. So the difference between first and second is half a million dollars going to charity. That's nice constantly giving uh, back to the community. with that dominating performance last time. One has to wonder, Monster, if you can do that again. Look at the people out there in the crowd chilling out.